Welcome to this talk on Knitgest, a programming synthesis toolkit for generating functional machine knitted textures. I'm Megan Hoffman, and my co-authors are Jennifer Menkoff and Scott Hudson. We contribute to the burgeoning field of algorithmic machine knitting, which is largely focused on creating knitted shapes like a Stanford bunny, or generating soft actuated objects like this lampshade. But we contribute to the field of knit texture, which determines the mechanical and aesthetic properties of a knit fabric, which are largely defined by programming languages like KnitSpeak, which are based off of the hand knitting instructions shown here. Knit textures present us an interesting opportunity to generate knitted objects with target physical and aesthetic properties. We present KnitGist, a generative instantiation synthesis toolkit for knitting, which allows programmers to generate knit objects based off of higher level goals using an extensible API of objectives and tactics, which can be mixed and matched in order to create both genetic algorithms and hill climbing algorithms. Currently, this is a programming interface, but it's structured to support constructing interactive tools. In this talk, I will present an overview of the framework and the optimization loop at its core, as well as heuristic maps, which are the core contribution of this work, followed up by an example of an objective and a demonstration of how you might program a heuristic map. Knit just starts with a library of synthesizers, objectives, and tactics. The objectives and tactics are combined by a programmer into a heuristic map, which will define the objective function for the optimization loop, and synthesizers, which generate random textures that start off with a width and a height defined by the programmer. Then we go into the optimization loop, where a population of the n best randomly generated textures we score that candidate based off of our objectives, and then we select a candidate with a bias towards the one that is currently performing the best. We don't necessarily select the one that is performing the best so that we can quickly jump around the search space. If the candidate we select is good enough for the programmer, we move on and knit our object. If not, we choose a tactic and apply it to the candidate to create a new texture, which we then feed into the population. Heuristic maps are a weighted mapping of objectives, which measure how well a given texture performs on a given metric, to tactics, which are small operations on a texture that produce a new texture. Objectives are weighted based off of their value to the designer, and tactics are weighted based off of how likely they are to improve an objective score. We use a simple objective function to select tactics, which is just the weighted sum of the current scores of every objective. We determine the value of a tactic for improving a particular texture and multiply it by the importance of improving any particular objective. The expected improvement score of a particular tactic across all objectives is just the sum of the value of that tactic for every objective times the importance of each objective. Conceptually, a greater EIS score, or expected improvement score, implies a tactic is more likely to greatly improve an objective function. We select tactics with a bias towards the ones that have the greatest EIS score, but we leave some small probability of selecting low-value tactics, which widens our search space. We provide an extensible NITGIST objective and tactic library, which is made up of functional objectives of curl, shrinkage, stretch, and opacity, and aesthetic ob objectives of style, symmetry, and imagery. We provide tactics, which modify textures by either flipping stitch orientations, leaning stitches left to right, replacing stitches, mirroring stitches across an axis of symmetry, or swapping stitches between two structures. Consider a yellow loop of yarn. If you pulled on either ends, it would fall apart, but if you pulled that yellow loop through a green loop and pulled on either ends of the green loop, the green loop would remain stable. We can knit a stitch by pulling it from back to front, or purl a stitch by pulling it from front to back, and each of these curl in different directions. And if we align a bunch of knit stitches and purl stitches across a fabric, we can create properties such as curl, shrink, and stretch. So an example objective is to estimate the curl of a loop where we first consider the average orientation, knit or purl, between a child loop, L, and a parent loop, P. And then we consider recursively the effect of child loops, which are pulled through L, M, and how far they are curling. And in order to estimate the curl across a whole fabric, we simply take the average curl of all of the loops on the bottom row. In the paper, we present three demonstrations of creating a heuristic map using our extensible niches library. In order to create a lamp, you first define a few objectives, such as curled edges that cling to the frame, maximizing elasticity so it can stretch around the frame, and adding some aesthetic properties like reducing the opacity so that it lets light through, and adding cabled stitches to just make it a little bit more complex. We then apply tactics that are based off of domain knowledge from knitting that will support these objectives. And as a result, we get a texture that has this gray area, which clings to the frame, these blue stripes, which let a little bit of light through, and green cables, which increase the complexity of the texture. It's worth noting that this is a rectangular swatch, but it is stretched around the conical lampshade because it has increased elasticity. In summary, KnitGist enables programmers to map valuable objectives to tactics, which take small steps through a search space. Those steps are chosen with a bias towards improving the target texture, but still widely search the space. KnitGist produces textures that match functional and aesthetic goals and can create whole objects. In future work, this system has been structured in such a way that we can create an interactive generative design tool for whole garments. Thank you so much. If there are any questions, please let me know or reach out at hoffman.megan at gmail.com.